Nityanandam Paramasukadam Ranasadrisham Himalamachalam Itam Tribuna Rakitam Nityananda, we welcome every one of you with our love and respect. We welcome all of you to another exciting day of Nityananda Satsang. The Nityananda Satsang every day in the morning is part of the Chariya Pata, the lifestyle that directly leads us to living enlightenment. All the Kailasavasis, Gurukul Balasans, the Adinams and centers, Sarvanipitas, old by everybody joining together and experiencing Upanishad with Jagatguru Mahasanidana, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parmashiva, and receiving His grace and blessings and the direct message from Sri Kailasa the only Hindu nation in the world. Yesterday, we had another amazing Nitya Satsa where Paramashiva revealed so many amazing truths. His message directly from Sri Kailasa was, you are Paramashiva. The power, living presence, Aliveness in you is my very own extension, expression and manifestation. Again and again, the constant reminder that Swamiji, Chakitguru Mahasamirana, Bhagavan Nityana Parameshwam brings us. Smaranath Mukti, remembrance liberates. Again and again, a constant reminder, a daily reminder every moment a reminder that we are Paramashiva. Constantly. And diligently every single day that we are again and again reminded, empowered to be Paramashiva. You are Paramashiva. The power, the living presence, aliveness in you is my very own extension expression and manifestation. And Swamiji made it very clear, you are Paramashiva, don't settle down for anything less. Because there are what, what Swamiji called the pious fraud, the self-doubt, the self-hatred, self-denial, the unconscious human society inserts all of these to us in the form of pious fraud. And we see that all the time happening. Any reason, any reason at all, the society is so willing to point us and say that, look, you have all these imperfections. How can you be Paramashiva? Look at all these problems going on. How can you be Paramashiva? All the problems that you are you're going through. How can you be Paramashiva? If during that time we fall in to those pious frauds, then we stop ourselves from our greatest possibility, the ultimate possibility of expressing Paramashiva. So, Swamiji said, to work on this the next 10 days, the next 10 days are intensely only dedicated for this, to work on the pious fraud sitting inside all of us, complete with that pious fraud, so that the self-doubt, the self-hatred and self-denial can be completely gotten rid of. There are so many people who have vested interest in not having Parmashiva manifest. Because the anti-Hindu philosophers, theologists, they strengthen this pious fraud. Every moment they have, every, every opportunity they can get, 
they are very clever and very pious they ask how can you be god you have so much problems with what you get affiliated to you tend to become that you can be god how can you be god we have so much problems <laughs> then you start associating with your stupid ups and downs self doubt self hatred self denial and try to make a philosophy out of it swami ji says this is where the problem begins the fundamental problem the temporary ups and downs due to the the chemical imbalance that constantly keeps happening within us that cannot be a defining factor for us that we cannot allow that to define who we are who we are is again and again and again as swami ji is reminding us i am parameshwara nityananda parameshivogam parameshivogam that is the fundamental problem when we have a temporary up and down due to the hormonal and chemical imbalance we cannot allow that to define us unfortunately the anti hindu theologists they make us believe that we our existence can be judged through our ups and downs self doubt self hatred and self denial that is where the whole mess up happens and slowly we start consuming whatever they give do not get brainwashed with the pious fraud some says once you get brainwashed you also become the pious fraud swami ji went on to the extent to say this pious fraud is the worst thing that can be done that can happen to a human being wake up to the reality how the pious fraud encourages all of us what are the elements which encourage us to become pious fraud whoever wants you to become slave wants you to become a pious fraud then you say oh how can i be called parm shiva i am a humble ordinary citizen human so much made very clear there is nothing